Hey guys, welcome to Technozard. This is Roshana. In this video, we are going to cover the basics of FAT and BJT, the objective type questions and the concept based on this. Okay. Those who have not joined the Telegram group, please join it as far as uh, as fast as possible so that uh, you can attempt the quiz tournament going on from uh, 10th April to 27th April. Okay. Uh, let's start the questions. Question number first. These are some basic questions on uh, JFET, F uh, FET, MOSFET and VJT. First, the two important advantages of JFET is first is it has high input impedance and second is the square law property. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Okay. Which of the following devices has the highest input impedance? Only MOSFET. MOSFET has the highest input impedance that is around in mega ohms. Okay. Question number third. A MOSFET uses the electric field of a capacitor to control the channel current because the depletion region, depletion region work here as a capacitor in MOSFET. Okay. Question number four: The input the input impedance of a MOSFET is in the order of few several mega ohm. I have already told you in the second question. Okay. In a JFET IDSS, IDSS current is the drain to source current when gate is shorted. Option two. In a JFET, when drain voltage is equal to pinch of voltage, the depletion rear almost touch each other. That is, uh, yesterday uh, in the quiz, I have given one question. If VDS reaches on increasing till VD saturation, the inversion layer charge that goes on increasing and the channel layer width decreases. That is, pinch off goes, uh, goes through the channel pinch offs. Okay. And as soon as VDS is greater than the VD saturation, VD saturation, the channel is pinch off and the effective, uh, if, uh, and the effective, uh, and the effective length of the depression region is decreased. Okay. This is, that is why almost touch, the, de the depression region almost touch each other. Okay. Uh, a JFET is high input impedance because of the input is reverse wise. Option B is the correct answer. A MOSFET can uh, operate for both as well as positive as well as for negative voltage. Okay. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. In a P channel JFET, that is P, P means holes. Therefore, the charge carries are the holes here. Uh, the Shockley equation is given by ID is equal to IDSS bracket 1 minus VGS upon VB. VP whole square. Okay. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Which of the following is true for the cutoff region in an NPN region? Cutoff region is that is reverse bias. Okay. Therefore, option B potential difference between the emitter and the base is smaller than 0.4 volt. Okay. Uh, option B is the correct answer. Next saturation region means the both the junctions, both the junctions will be forward wise. And uh, cutoff region, both the junctions are reverse wise. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. CB junction is forward wise, and the EB junction is also forward wise. CB is the collector base junction, EB is the emitter base junction. Okay. Next question is very very important. It is the assertion reason type question. FTs are more suitable at the input stage of millivolt meter and CROs than BJT. Why? Why? Because we know that FT have high input impedance and low output impedance okay fd has low output impedance than a bjt therefore i can say both a and r true but and r is also the correct explanation of a this is why we are using uh, using fd in the input stages of millivolt meter and the cro's then bjt okay question number next question this question is uh, in, this question is in which we have to match list one with list two First is N channel JFET is better than P channel JFET. We know that N channel is related with the mobility of electrons and P channel is related with the mobility of holes. Therefore, and we know that mu N is much, 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 much greater than mobility of mu P. Okay. Therefore, fourth will be matched with A. Channel is, channel is wedge shaped because the reverse bias increases along the channel. Therefore, uh, B is, uh, B is matched with one because we know that the ch effective channel length always depends upon the doping concentration and the reverse bias voltage applied. Okay. Option C, option C is channel is not completely closed at pinch off because, because a high electric field near the drain and directed towards the source. Therefore, this will be second. C will be two and input impedance high because the low leakage current at the gate terminal. That is third.
okay this is how we match these question these can come as an objective type question in SRO exams like or VSSC, HSSC or anything okay now in this also we have to match list one with list two okay if it is a off region if it is a off region for off region VGS is always less than VTH therefore A is fourth Linear region VGS is greater than VTH and VDS is less than VGS minus VTH. Therefore, linear region is one. Non-linear region, we all know that VGS is all VGS is greater than VTH. That is third. Saturation region in this VDS is greater than VGS minus VTH. Okay. Therefore, second. This is how we can match these list one and list two. Next question: match list one with list two. We know that MOSFET provides us high input impedance. Therefore, B MOS, MOSFET is matched with 4 that is high input impedance. Tunnel diode or xenodiode. Xenodiode is used as a voltage regulator therefore can, can I match this with voltage regulation third second. BJT we know as no as uh, BJT we know it has high current gain therefore second and last one tunnel diode it has a negative resistance voltage control negative resistance okay. Next question now i am explaining now i am explaining you the advantages and disadvantages of the mosfet circuit okay state the merits and demerits of digital mosfet circuits compared with the corresponding vjt circuits advantages mosfet transconductor increases with the drain current the consequences is less distortion it will have less distortion second mosfet mosfet consumes less power than bjt they, we all know that mosfet input impedance are very very high generally in mega ohms so they do not load the circuit loading effect does not arise okay in mosfet it has greater bandwidth in mosfet thermal stability is more compared than bjt okay the the mosfet is thermally stable temperature it is not temperature dependent uh, effect of noise is less than bjt so high signal snr signal to noise ratio is very high in this okay mosfets are small compared to bjt so it can be fabric fabricated on a single ic many are Many MOSFETs are many MOSFET can be fabricated on a single IC. What are the disadvantages? The transconductance in MOSFET is low, that is, bandwidth is less. Second, MOSFET is very sensitive to electrostatic charge, so it may destroy when you touch the pins of a MOSFET devices by heart, uh, by hand. Why? Uh, if by if we touch anything by our hand, there is something uh, called temporary charge which is generated towards the uh, towards the pins at the MOSFET. Therefore, it can uh, destroy the MOSFET okay third one is MOSFET is very costly than BJT and second gain, gain, bandwidth, gain bandwidth product is lower than BJT okay now question number second okay distinguish between FET and MOSFET what is the difference between FET and MOSFET there are two types of operating operating principles are generally similar for JFET and MOSFET okay uh, in the electrical characteristic first point in an enhancer and depletion, uh, depletion type of MOSFET, there are two types of MOSFET, enhancement and de uh, depletion type of MOSFET. Okay, the transverse electric field induces across an insulating layer deposited on the semiconductor controls the conductivity. It will control the conductivity of the channel. In JFET, the transverse electricity across the reverse bias junction controls the conductivity of the channel. Okay, uh, in this. In, en in enhancement type in a MOSFET the transverse electric field that is induced across the insulating layer deposited on the semiconductor material controls that it will control the insulating layer will control the conductivity and here the electric field which is applied to the reverse bias junction will control the conductivity of the channel okay second is the gate leakage current in a MOSFET is the order of 10 to the power minus 12 ampere here the input resistance of a uh, input resistance or input impedance is very high in the order of 10 to power 15 to 10 to power 10 to 10 to power 15 ohm. Gate leakage current is around 10 to power minus 9 ampere and input resistance is 10 to power 8 ohm. Okay. Third part, the output characteristics of JFET are flattened than those of the MOSFET as compared to the MOSFET, and hence the drain resistance of JFET is 0.1 to 1 mega ohm is much higher than the drain resistance of MOSFET that is 1 to 50 kilo ohm okay 
फिफ्थ वन इज जे फेड्स आर ऑपरेटेड ओनली इन द डिप्लीशन मोड ओके द डिप्लीशन टाइप मॉस फेड मे बी ऑपरेटेड इन बोथ डिप्लीशन एज वेल एज इन एनहांसमेंट मोड फिफ्थ कंपेयरिंग टू जे फेड मॉस्फेड आर इजियर टू फेब्रिकेट ओके सिक्स मॉस्फेड इज ससेप्टेबल टू ओवरलोड वोल्टेज एंड नीड स्पेशल हैंडलिंग ड्यूरिंग इंस्टॉलेशन it get damage easily if it is not properly handled i have already told you they are very sensitive to electrostatic charge they if they are touched by if the pins of the mosfet are touched by hand they can also destroy okay seventh point mosfet has zero offset voltage this is very important it has zero offset voltage it is a symmetrical device the source and drain can be interchanged these two properties are very useful in analog signal switching okay last point in the difference of j fed and mosfet cmos circuits are nowadays are available which involve near zero power dissipation they have zero power dissipation okay and very low voltage and current requirement this makes suitable for portable system mosfets are widely used in vlsi that is very large scale integration circuits then j fed okay therefore we are using mosfets nowadays everywhere everywhere because of many advantages that it has low power distributions okay high input impedance these are some of the disadvantage uh, like signal to noise ratio is very high okay last question and in this question we will complete all the basics for bjts fts jfet mosfet everything okay this is the comparison between bjt and fet okay this is very important as isro or any other competitive exam point of view all the theoretical question can be covered by this okay first bjt the input impedance is low and input is always forward wise okay the noise is more but bjt is a bipolar device here noise is more bjt is a temperature sensitive but mosfet is not temperature sensitive i have already told you it is thermally stable bjt construction is complicated voltage gain is high gain bandwidth product is here high but in the case of mosfet it is low bandwidth is low here bjt is slow in operation because it is a diffusion device that is why they cannot be used as a switching device therefore we use mosfet as a switching device power dissipation is very very high bjt is meant for ampli amplification bjt is a current control device but mosfet is a voltage control device failure in switching operation that i have already told you now comes fet the input impedance is high because the input is always reverse bias okay here the input is forward bias the noise is lost because that is why the snr ratio is very very high fet fet is always thermally stable that is they are not temporarily temperature dependent id id is independent of temperature that is vgs if temperature increase channel will increase and id will also increase for video if temperature id is here constant okay temperature increase mobility will decrease and drain current will decrease fet is simple in construction voltage gain is less gain bandwidth product is low that is the disadvantage bandwidth is high fet is faster in operation that is why we use in switching operations okay power dissipation is less fet is meant for switching fet is a voltage control device fet is less interested in amplification because voltage gain is less okay in this video i have covered i have covered each and every single thing that can be asked in the isro exam okay therefore please watch the video till the end and if you have any doubt please ask me in the telegram group so that we can resolve it okay and those who have not joined the telegram group please join it and also if you are like the video please share it with your share it with your friend and also don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you can get further updates regarding the videos of isro exams okay okay all the best bye